Hi there, this is Janet Gershon Siegel, and uh, this is, was it module three? Uh, anyway, um, the question was uh, three things about me that you wouldn't know with by just looking at me. So uh, the first one is that uh, I am actually a lawyer. I, uh, I graduated from Widener Law School, which is now called Delaware Law School of Widener University or something similar to that, in uh, 1986, and I actually practiced law for three years uh, in the 80s, and uh, in June of 1990, I up and quit, so it's, uh, it's coming up on, oh my God, 25 years since I stopped practicing law, and I'm a much, much happier person ever since then, so that's one thing is that here I've got this, you know, the social media stuff going on and I've got artistic things going on, but the truth is I also have a, a much more technical sort of background as an attorney. Uh, and, and also, I might add, I had been a data analyst for several years. So lots of, you know, numbers and spreadsheets and boxes and grids. And so very, very different from the creative life that, I'm, that I'd like to pursue now. Uh, another uh, thing that you may not know about me is that something you may be seeing right now is I'm wearing gloves. So why am I wearing gloves? And the reason is because I am getting rather arthritic. So I've got uh, some nasty arthritis going on uh, in uh, some lower body parts. It's, uh, I hobble around a lot, but also it's just lovely. I get it in... Um, my ring finger on my right hand and my middle finger on my left hand. And so uh, if it's cold out and damp, which it happens to be today, it's kind of nice if I cover everything up a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, that just makes it easier for me to, you know, kind of do my business and, and, and do what I need to do. Uh, but uh, I wake up almost every single morning with uh, this, this finger here. Uh, just sort of locked in this position and if I don't watch it I'm going to lock it now too and uh, I have to manually uh, pull it out of the uh, pull it back into place and that and let me tell you folks getting old it's just not just loads of fun so anyway the third thing I wanted to uh, give you that is uh, kind of out there would be something that would be uh, kind of fun and uh, this is that um, I've been kissed by our vice president uh, Joe Biden. It was nothing passionate, believe me. Uh, in 1984, because I went to law school in Delaware, I was uh, my summer job. I didn't take a like a you know a clerking inter internship at a law firm, which was probably you know my first clue that law was not really for me. So what I ended up doing was I worked as a volunteer on his uh, Senate re-election campaign, and uh, I had a role where. I would do research in uh, the books, legislative books, uh, for what his opponent had voted on because his opponent was in the Delaware State Senate. And so it, it was the, these big hardcover books, and this is this is long before Google, and uh, so I'd go in and I would leaf through and I would take notes and I would type them up and, you know, and, and eventually uh, it would come down to whether we were going to, what we were going to do with this. And uh, one piece, because the, the opponent, this guy was a supply cider, uh, so he voted against pretty much anything that would up the budget. And uh, one of the things he ended up voting for was uh, additional uh, pension pay for uh, the widows and orphans of, uh, of deceased police officers and so uh, we ran with that and that became uh, that became an ad actually that was like a, like a 30 second ad that was heard on the radio on occasion so I had a little bit of fame there and a little little teeny teeny tiny bit of fame and so at the victory party uh, which was held in Wilmington uh, at the end of everything uh, he came over and he actually uh, he actually kissed on the cheek all of the women who had worked on the campaign. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, with his wife standing, you know, two feet away or whatever. So, yes, I, I have been kissed by our Vice President Joe Biden. And uh, I'm, I'm afraid that was uh, probably the last time I've seen him in person. And uh, I'm sure that he doesn't really remember who I am because it's been, uh, like I said, it's been, you know, quite a long time, you know, over 30 years now. But yes, I've been kissed for Joe Biden. So that's, those are my three things that you can't tell from, uh, from just looking at me. And in particularly, if it's a warm day out, I don't even wear these things. So you really can't tell that I've got this problem. Thanks for listening. And I'm interested in seeing what you've got.
Bye.